You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna go pull some tanker. So, got a little bit of grass ground that I can get manure on, 10 acres. Yeah, just about 10 acres, maybe a little bit more, that I can get manure on and uh, never got around to it. And it's supposed to start raining this afternoon, so we'll spread. The rain keeps the odor down for our neighbors. That's our big thing there, so we like spreading in the rain compared to any other location, any other time, so. Francisco's got some left to do on the closer fields, and I'm gonna do that. We're a little late on the spreading, but we're not gonna chop any more grass till after corn, so. We got a time period in between. Well, appreciate you guys watching along. Let's dive into this. Loading, and it's starting to mess. Just starting off at an idle. It was a little solid. There was stuff left in the pipe, so can't do much about that. The manure pits over that line, so we're two thirds full, maybe a little bit more. We'll get some hauled on grass today, but then the remainder of the manure really is gonna go on corn ground before cover crop is my goal. So we'll play it on heavy and then we'll get some cover crop in. That's what I'm thinking. goes on here if you're new oh you got your pto shaft running it you got a trap door right down there that goes into the bottom you got a guillotine valve for safety that keeps it from coming anymore you got two valves here this one loads it that one goes up and over the top agitates up there then this bottom valve's open too and that goes out in the middle there's an agitator and you can spin it around by that the key with manure is get all the solids worked up. That way you don't end up with a pit of solids. Granted, we're not on sand, so it makes it easier that we can agitate. Digging out sand is, it's a chore. Anybody that hauls manure, pumps manure, knows how much uh, time, labor, money it costs to move sand. So We'll get this loaded, get down the road. Ready to go? Yeah, I gotta, this is gonna come down and smooth my bumps out. First load went pretty good. As you see, there's some grass growth. This will really help it get a good fourth out of it. Went to switch from spread to nurse like I do when I'm road running, so it doesn't come out the pipe. Yeah, we blew a hydraulic line. I guess I can put it back to spread. Oh, somebody's calling me. I can put it back to spread, and then from there it's gonna be uh, staying spread, so I can't fill it full. Cleaned it right up. You won't even know. 
about it. So that's where I assaulted the biker almost a year ago. It came up in my memories. It was like four days ago that that was uh, assaulting the biker. I can't load it as full because of that line and I could leave. Probably take me an hour, maybe a little bit longer by the time I take the whole line off. Probably an hour and a half by the time I take the line off and uh, go over to the hydraulic place, come back. I'd have to get lunch because I'm away and it's lunchtime, but um, yeah, what time is it? I don't know, 12.30? So in an hour and a half to two hours, I'll be done spreading manure, so might as well push through it and finish it up and then deal with it. Plus, if I wait that long and it starts pouring, it's no fun hauling manure in the pouring rain. Light misting rain, not bad. Pouring, not good. Here we go. I got one of the packages. They sent them as two different things. Then the package from Weavers. That's a shear bar. We'll pull it in the shop. I guess we can get going on this stuff after we get done hauling manure. Got like four loads left. Shear bar floor paddles I take it those fuel filters I don't speak German so made in Slovakia everything spare belt two a spare belt and then a spare processor belt I got the blower motors inside the cab the other ones are on their way so yeah I guess we'll shut the lights off and keep on trucking that's good that came in I was wondering I gotta order some more parts probably tomorrow from them to finish up what I need on that. Hopefully. We'll find out. It's sprinkling. So here's our old shear bar. Bent. And then we got all our parts still laying out here. Gotta cover the exhaust on that. And on the so the rain cap on the 7520. I gotta do some more looking. It's like um, back ordered like four months. So last time I made a parts order from Green Parts Store, they called me and said, this is back order. They said, do you want us to send it or, or do you want us to take it off the order or what? And I said, yeah, just take it off. And then I was like, that's like the fourth time I've ordered one. And I said, I'll look back into it. And I never do one. It's water. Alrighty. Stack covers are on. He's got like four acres to do right up the road. A place that I can't get into. So they were doing chores and getting prepared for this rain that we're supposed to big rainstorm. So as of right now, it looks like we're gonna be done before any of the heavy rain comes in. And that's it. We got it all covered up. Ready to be done? Hopefully I can get myself out and not be stuck. That's the issue driving on wet grass with manure just spread on it. But got it all covered up. I'm trying to think exactly, like 12 acres. Problem is I'm running five miles from the farm one way. So this is the max we spread at. And pretty much doing it because the cost of fertilizers through the roof. I gotta get out of this manure ground. Like Mike Chambers said, you're going to get stuck today. I told him, no, I'm not. So I better not get stuck. Oh, I am in low gear. That might be part of it. Yeah, we better not get stuck. That would be awkward on the last load. Francisco should be just about done. He might spread on some of that pasture ground. And then we're done hauling manure until after corn. Probably get forth cutting off. And then uh, get back into hauling manure on corn ground. So that's the plan, but I'll get this home and see where we're at. Yeah, that's a good feeling. We'll drop this off probably tomorrow. I'll, well, I'll take it off. And uh, Friday I gotta move sawdust. Then I gotta drop the trailer back off on Saturday. Or maybe they're not working Monday. Monday is Labor Day. Well, go in New York, remember that.
dropped the details in previous videos, so go check it out. But I'm gonna go, I gotta move some things around. I'm gonna put the bucket over the 7520 since I'm waiting on that rain cap. And then I guess we'll probably start diving into the chopper stuff. Probably should go get new boots. People are noticing that my my boots are pretty well shot. I got my seven seven months out of these ones, maybe eight, and they are shot. So I figured I need to get new boots and walk around on them before I go to a show and have brand new boots and yeah, not have a good time because my feet hurt in them. So I got a bucket in here. I do. It's it full of nothing. Just rags. So screener's still running. I don't know if he's finishing up or what he's what he's got going on here. He's screening sand now. He does switch to the sand every now and then because uh, the sand cleans all everything out, builds up with stuff as it goes. So yeah, he's coming from down over the side of the pit, screening sand for. We use sand for bedding for our heifers and, yeah, I guess heifers and dry cows. Well, as you see that pivots right out and all that is, is it's got a conveyor belt in the middle where he dumps in and then it goes into the big trommel and stuff falls through it. You get different sized screens, tailings come out the back, big giant conveyor goes to the front, drops into that other conveyor, makes a pile. Easy enough. That tanker's treated me pretty well. A little full. <laughs> By the time you get to the road, usually nothing splashes out. It does very well. But you can see he splashes quite a bit. Someday down the road, I'd like a tanker that matches the semi. And I'd like another five to 6,000 gallon semi. Nurse into it. Put a bar on it for grass and inject for corn someday but yeah that's not in the balling on a budget for 2021 and I don't think 2022 but we'll go over here and uh, open up this gate so he can go right through since I'm done and he's still got more to go All that's already been spread on. This is the pasture ground that we rotate dry cows on and they came off not that long ago. Hopefully this fence is off. Yep. So, I'll open it up if I can with one hand. There you go. And then when he gets done spreading that field, I think he's got one load or two loads left. He'll come in and spread this really got a rotary mow it but we'll let it go this cutting and then next one we'll get in so the cows are on the far pasture it gets wet here it's a low hole and uh the middle one will be ready week two weeks then they'll be in there for a bit and then they'll come back here and if it keeps raining and we keep having good weather grass growth is just doing great so hopefully we'll have them out here for a long period what are you doing Oh, some things and stuff and everything else. So we're hooked there. He's on his last load. Yeah, things look good. So he's spreading right out here. Just feeding some of the grass, the pasture ground. Solid day. Definitely a solid day.
I don't know how many loads he's actually done here or how many loads he's done total. You never want to get too close behind because, well, we're going to find out. There used to be a tree where those bushes are right there and it fell down, it cleaned it up. That one and then there was one right here that fell down. I guess this one's next. That'll probably be there forever. So when I was a kid we used to, I'm trying to think, we used to raise corn. It went like down to there and then one year I plowed in there and we started raising grass. And they said it was wet and rocky and it really worked out. Like we gotta reseed that, that's been six years. We used to raise sweet corn and pumpkins and stuff like that over there and we used to have corn and we'd rotate things around. But a lot of change. In between the trees was always like hedgerows and we cleared it out once and they worked out, made it into pasture. bit up here we'll get out of his way so whoop, he's digging I don't know if he was in four-wheel drive or if it's just wet or what what was he doing what are you Nico thinks we're doing something I wish you guys could smell it. it. Smells great. I actually don't mind the smell of manure, but a lot of people don't like it. I guess it's you're born into it, and <laughs> he knows you got it all over the fence. It'll wash it off with the rain. One little spot left there, and he'll drain the tank as much as he can. And yeah, no manure hauling for a little bit. Well, he's about finished up. We'll bring this other tractor up. So we've seen a whole lot of manure hauling different ways this year. Hopefully we'll see some more of different different stuff. I got some things I'd like to do. Not here, but go visual go film. So well, better get our tools up here. All those pins are for uh when you your shear bolt pins for the PTO. So what you gotta do here, you gotta close that one, you gotta move that one in, and then uh, usually I close that one too. Take PTO off and you're good. Good. Oh, this is lock collar. Set it right there so it's not in the dirt. Close this one up. <clears throat> I'm gonna need two hands. 
Has been moving a while. We're good to go. So, I don't know where the ankle went. Look at this cute little hammer. Where the hell did we get that from? Appreciate you guys watching along. Been a good day. Got some manure hauled. Things went smooth. Blew one hydraulic line. But otherwise, yeah, things are good. So appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next video. Pretty excited for going to New York this weekend um, and getting some of these projects done. I got all the chopper parts. I got parts for the Mac. Uh, got to do some tires on the uh, the dump trailer or some some brakes on the dump trailer so otherwise we should be in a very good boat and uh yeah so see you guys on the next one thanks for joining along have a good one